What's good YouTube? It's your boy Wave Magnetic here and uh, today I'm doing a tutorial for you about uh, how to make a dynamic EQ using the stock EQ in Ableton EQ8. It's kind of dope, like you don't need to buy the whole like uh, fab filter thing or any of the other the waves one if you're doing it in this capacity. Uh, so <clears throat> To make a, a dynamic EQ in Ableton, uh, one of the reasons why you would even use one is uh, to get the kick drum and the bass to work well together. Because, um, you know, you a lot of times people use sidechain compression. And sidechain compression works pretty good. That works fine. But sometimes the tail end of the kick drum doesn't really... Um, you might get a little bit of a rub there still. And so you can get the the low end to be out of the way for the exact length of the kick drum. Because if you use a compressor, the compressor has an attack and a release. So when you put the release in, sometimes it holds it longer, it holds the thing down longer than how long the kick drum is. So you get a little bit of gap and sometimes it's just not as clean sometimes. And you get distortion sometimes too. But when you use it in the dynamic EQ way, um, it works out pretty good. So let's uh, let's look and see what I did here. So in order to do this, well, first let me show you what it even does. So every time the kick is hitting, uh, this right here is my bass track. Watch this uh, thing go down uh, every time the kick drum hits. <laughs> You see, and that right there, it gets the uh, the, the uh, bass out of the way for the kick drum. So I'm going to show you how to set that up. So the way you set that up is uh, first what you need. Let me uh, turn what I did off. You need uh, an envelope follower. So the envelope follower is actually in Max for Live. So you go on to Max for Live, go on to Audio Effects, and you see the envelope follower right here. So you put that on the kick drum, okay? Now the way it, set, it comes set up automatically is gonna do the reverse of what you want it to do. So let me show you. So now what you do is you go to the bass track or any other track that you wanna do this to. It doesn't always have to be a bass and a kick, but you, you know, it works for that. Uh, you could do vocals for pads or whatever, um, but I'm just showing you one way to use it. So you go to the bass track and you go and you put an EQ8 on it. So now, ah, let's put this EQ8 on here. So now I got my EQ8 on here and we don't need all of these bands. So now you take a band that you want, put it in a, an area that you want to do it at, where you want it to duck. So for me it was like 70 hertz or something like that. You know, I already tested this out to see where I want it to be. And so what you do is you go back to the kick, hit the map button here, and now you go back to the base and you map it to the gain. Now it's, it's down there, right? Now if I hit play right now, it's going to go up. It, it's going to uh, bring the, the EQ up as opposed to going down. Sorry, now watch. You see, that's the opposite of what you wanted to do, okay? So, in order to make it duck and go down, you can actually use it this way if it was something that you really wanted to go up that way. So, like, uh, I mean, actually, I can't think of a reason why you would do it at this particular moment, but if there's a reason why you would want something like that, you can do that. Oh, like, uh, I guess if you were doing adding bass to something, or adding some kind of sub frequency to something that seemed like it didn't have enough low frequency or something. I don't know. You can find a reason to use it, but you could do it this way. Um, but what I want to do is make it duck. So what you got to do is take this where it says 100% and turn it all the way to zero. Now when I do that, it stays down and it doesn't do anything, right? We're, we're getting closer. So now what we want to do is we want to take this other one. This one makes it so that it, the, where the starting position is. So starting position is going to be at 
50 percent okay ah 50 we can type that in so now if it's at 50 it should be flat see it's flat now let's see what happens see it's ducking down now right so that's good now if you want to play with it to see how much it ducks down you just got to play with the input of the kick so watch now if I turn the gain of the kick up on, on uh, uh, the envelope follower, uh, it'll make it so that the uh, that uh, on the EQA it ducks more. So I just boosted the gain and let's see what it does. Here. See it's all the way down there. So now you can play with the Q to see uh, how much you want. So let's play with the Q. And for this, a lot of times I like to take the uh, adaptive cue off. Well, and that's it. That's how you make a dynamic EQ with EQ8. So make sure if you like this video, uh, hit the subscribe button below and um, hit the notifications bell so you know the next time I release a video. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.